Hello, everyone. I want to thank all of you, family, relatives, friends, for being here today celebrating this beautiful occasion in the marriage of Sean and Rachel, my new son in law. Sean, I welcome you to our family. I'm sure there will be so many more celebrations in the years ahead. So we're just going to enjoy this night, and I welcome you to our family. I use the wrong way to speak, but I don't want to mess this up. So I had to write this down. And looking in today, my daughter, the bride. I was lucky enough to watch her grow and become the beautiful woman she is today. She captured my heart the day she was born, and from that day, I've been so proud to be your father. Rachel, you are my little girl, my princess, my ray of sunlight. And no matter what age, you always be those things to me. But today, I watch you marry your wonderful man, Sean. And I am filled with pride and confidence that you and your life together will be filled with love and happiness that only comes as man and wife. May the two of you always treat each other with compassion and kindness and love. Now I ask all of you to join me in congratulating the bride and groom and wishing them the best and long happy life together.
Sean and I will bust our asses completing our whacking duties around the neighborhood just so we could meet behind some fancy select house to relax in their backyard, maybe in their hammock, their lawn chair, or sometimes their pool. <laughs> we knew the homeowners weren't home during the day, so it was completely all right. It may have been a select few of you guys here in the reception with us tonight. Maybe not, I don't know. But we were really there catching up some much needed Z's because we were up to, I don't know, only God knows when, the night before, and we had to show up at Walt's driveway at 7 a.m. That really sucked from time to time, but you know what? Mowing lawns, but Sean and I both a lot of our responsibilities in young high school age. Sean and I worked so hard, we rewarded both of ourselves with plenty of money in which we spend mostly on ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, our lady friends of choice. Sometimes we worked. <laughs> Together we worked the wall all through high school until we graduated, or should I say I graduated, from Council Rock. And Sean, I can't really recall what the outcome was, but we loved him. But following graduation, I moved on to college in Colorado. Sean moved on to college here in the state of Pennsylvania. Love the state. Shortly after Sean's first year of college, he had a beautiful daughter who's with here with us tonight. Liv. Yeah, Liv. Hey, y'all. Uh. may not know, Sean had to drop out of college to take care of his little girl. What some may think was not the right choice for Sean, it couldn't have been more but the best choice of his, best choice of his life. Sean picked up two jobs, one working at CBS during the day and the other delivering pieces for dominoes in the evening. Sean's dedicated drive towards it, newly acquired responsibilities never left him like I did when I moved across country. We all look at Sean today and see how goddamn successful he is in life, how devoted he is to his daughter, how loving he is to his now beautiful wife, and now how adoring he will be with his ever growing family. As wild as, I, as wild as Sean and I, and actually all the great friends here in attendance tonight, it's amazing to see that Sean's drive to be the very best that he could be in everything he does never left him. Though any extremely steep, and I mean extremely steep bumps along the way, and that blue Mitsubishi Eclipse. Uh, I bet you missed that car, Sean, huh? What's the fondest memory of that car? Oh, where to start? I'll tell you mine. <laughs> One night after Sean worked really hard to back out of my parents' very straight driveway. <laughs> we drove down Buck Road real, real fast, then coasted real, real slow. And then we coasted real, real fast, and then coasted real, real slow. It was like a video game when you were driving us that evening, Sean. Both Kaiser and I are here with you today, and for that, and our parents, we thank you. <laughs> We're glad nothing serious ever came out of that video, video game driving adventures. Kevin says hi. I want to thank you, Sean, and especially you, Rachel, for inviting Kimmy and I to participate in this special day of your lives, asking me to be this co best man <laughs> with this guy over here. Now, you may be wondering who this big teddy bear is inside me. But what I did not say was Andy was right there through much, pretty much everything Sean and I encountered and has been Sean's other right hand man. Because shit, I can only ha handle so much of Sean Davidson. <laughs> and I needed to take turns being responsible for Sean in his never ending antics. Off center lost tattoo, anyone? <laughs> I'm sure you all can remember a time, or two, or four, or maybe ten, 
that Sean called you looking for what he called a small favor. But in actuality, it was a huge favor. Or advice you probably really shouldn't be talking about right at that moment. I'll let Andy the Bold, the rest of SpongeBob, or working at CBS, or delivering pizzas, I can't make a baby. Beautiful baby girl. Love you both very much. Let's get the party started. But this speech is fake news, not fishy. I was given a laundry list this big of things I could say. Or things I could not say. Could not say. I could not say. It, it's, it's been a long, what, 16 years to finish the last one? All good times. I've never been a time. Um, Sean has always been one of the most intelligent people I know, hands down. Hands down. Only if anyone's ever worked here with him, they can attest to this. Sean's very intelligent, but he always somehow decides to come to the wrong conclusion. <laughs> There's a time a lot of people don't know about this. You guys have been dating for what, six months? Sean came to the wrong conclusion and decided it might be a good idea to break with Rachel. <laughs> See, incredibly smart. He, he, he decided to redeem himself, and that was the best decision Sean ever made in his life. He had to crawl back with his tail between his legs. But the fact he did that, Olivia is gaining a wonderful new mother. You have the best thing that ever happened to you for the rest of your life. You know, one of the luckiest men, men I know. Uh, hold on, no, 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 no. I want to thank some people. I want to thank some people. Jenny, you were fantastic tonight. Woo! I want to thank Dan Fetterman. Thank you for coming out here. I know you don't leave Philadelphia. That's a thing of Philadelphia, but wow. it takes a lot for him to leave. Thank you, Dan. Now I'm going to sorry, but Dan Fetterman is losing his best friend. You guys uh, have some crazy adventures together. Sorry, Graham's going to be here. She was a sweetheart. She always wanted to see this day. So everyone get yourself a Southern Comfort. Southern Comfort Manhattan. That's what Graham's right. Have yourself a cheers in honor of Graham's. Of course, let's not forget about Lola. Awful dog, but had the sweetest heart in the world. She pooped and vomited on my bed. She's still a great dog. There's, there's no bad dog over. There's no bad dog. There's bad dog over. Play you, Sean. Uh, everyone, toast a beautiful couple. I want to say Sean Kelsey. What's your name again? Good time. Good time, Joe. But cheers. I love you guys. You're going to have a great life together. Congratulations, Olivia. You're going to have a wonderful new mother. Thank you. Sean, thank you for that being that someone else. 
and supporting Rachel, specifically with her intense dance parties and endless snacks of you and the dogs. <laughs> Having been there from the beginning, I know what happened to what appeared to be seamless was the effort of two people who truly loved one another and are determined to make their relationship work. They didn't just magically fit into each other's lives, they rearranged their lives to make room. They changed their priorities, made time for one another, and learned to love each other's little quirks. Like Rachel's obsession with the lazy Susan being organized, and God forbid if Sean messes it up. And Sean's hatred of breakfast foods, except the Western omelet. I guess we're having leftovers tomorrow for breakfast. <laughs> I hope the laughter and fun times that you two have together continue for a lifetime. Please raise your glass for Rachel and Sean as they embark on this new journey in life as husband and wife. Rachel and Sean, please remember, life isn't perfect. It's overcoming obstacles, facing challenges, holding on, and never letting go. I am Erin, and I have been one of Rachel's best friends for almost 20 years now. We met in sixth grade math class, and it seems that we went from passing notes in class to writing speeches for each other's weddings in the blink of an eye. We've been friends through our awkward middle school years, dance recitals, high school graduation, and more memorably, the senior week that followed. But my favorite memories with Rachel are from the years that we spent as roommates at Shippensburg University. Those years were filled with a lot of fun, a little bit of heartbreak, and in the end, we both walked away with degrees in business and the best recipe for jello shots. <laughs> But when those college years ended, and the countless hours that we spent watching friends, drinking boxed wine, and sometimes studying were replaced with more important things like working, watching friends, and drinking rosé, Rachel made the transition with ease with Sean and Olivia by her side. You are the most beautiful brat tonight. And I mean it when I say, you're the most beautiful person on the inside. You've always been a loving and generous friend, daughter, sister, dog mom, and now we can add stepmom and wife to that list. You guys are surrounded by love tonight, and there is no better way to start this new chapter as Mr. and Mrs. Davidson, and I want to keep the party going, so cheers to you guys. Hi everyone. As most of you know, probably all of you know, I am Sean Zotto Olivia, and I just wanted to come out and say a couple words. Um, I promise I won't make this too long. Rachel, thank you for making my dad as happy as. When he's with you, it's like you're the shining star in the room. Also, thank you for always being by my side for the past seven years. From the first time I met you, when you cooked me lasagna, I knew you were the one. Because that lasagna was the best I'd ever had. But not only that, but because me and you had a special bond even the first day we met. It was like we knew each other for years before that day. Dad, she's perfect. I don't think any other person could deal with your shenanigans like Rachel. <laughs> She's one like no other. I love you both more than you ever know, and I'm so excited to see what this future holds. Congratulations. I, got, I just wanted to end this with an Irish blessing because there are way too many Italians in this room. I feel like I'm at a rehearsal of Tony and Tina's wedding up in here. May you two live as long as you want, and never want as long as you live. I love you, too.